What's up kids, welcome back to the Dave Cave. Dave here and today I'm having a look at the Platinum Edition Page Punches Robin by DC Direct and McFarlane Toys. Hell yeah man, super stoked to have this guy in hand, but this ain't your mama's Robin man, this is Damien Wayne and this set is freaking so cool man because across the two versions, the Standard and the Platinum, it actually showcases Damien in his two first appearances as Robin. Now the Standard being his first official first appearance as Robin, that's with his regular colors on the cover of Batman Reborn. That's Batman and Robin issue one. And now this Platinum Edition being his first unofficial appearance as Robin in the pages of Batman issue 657 and part of Batman and Son there, Grant Morrison and Andy Kubert's first six issues of Grant Morrison's epic Batman run. So I'll get into why he's wearing the different colors in the Platinum Edition and uh, we'll talk about the rest of it after the jump. But right now, I've got to plug the sponsor of this channel, man. That's Angel Grove Toys and Collectibles, guys. Head over to angelgrovecollectibles.com and buy yourself something sweet from their incredible range on their website there, man. Buy with confidence at Angel Grove because they're one of the best in the biz here in Australia. They service the entire world. They pack super well. They ship super fast and they're freaking awesome. So thanks again to Angel Grove for their continued support of Dave Cave Dave Productions. Before we head into the review proper, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Got some giveaways coming soon that you don't wanna miss. Now with all that out the way, guys, let's get into the review, man. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, here Robin is unleashed from his plastic prison and uh, yeah, not a bad little set there guys. You get the comic, you get all this stuff that you see on the screen and yeah, pretty nice little Robin figure there. Um, now let's have a look at the accessories first guys. We get that base. It's a weird looking base this one. It's kind of like lighter than usual and it looks all scuffed up, which is like really weird. But anyway, whatever. Uh, I mean, that's the exci most exciting thing that's happened with those bases in like how many years now? Uh, we got the trading card. We got this sword, which I'm pretty sure is the infinite frontier sword. And then we've got the uh, Professor Pig mask. Now the significance of this is pretty cool. In the first uh, book there, Batman Reborn of Batman and Robin, Morrison's Batman and Robin. Um, yeah, the very first villain that they fight is uh, Professor Pig. And he's a weirdo, uh, you know, psychotic um, freak dude that, uh, turns his victims into weird little robots. Um, yeah, or something like that. Dolotrons, I think they're called. Yeah, he's a bit of a creep. So uh, yeah, Damo and uh, Dick chase him down and give him a classic uh, double Batman and Robin punch, split the mask in two. And then, yeah, there's a panel where the mask is just kind of like sitting there on the floor like that in a pool of water or something like that. So yeah, pretty cool that they've included that. Always nice to see some unique sculpts on accessories that come with these figures. Now, uh, let's have a look at the figure itself, guys. Really, really nice figure. 
uh, makes me really want the um, the standard version more and more. Um, and yeah, having this figure in hand for a little while, um, I initially did not want this figure. Like this isn't my ideal version of Damien. And you know, before I was able to lock down a regular, a standard version, um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was pretty upset that all I could get my hands on was this. But now that I have the, uh, the regular on the way, um, and I also have this, I'm kind of cool with keeping this. So yeah, anyone that I said I would swap them for the uh, standard, uh, sorry that I'm breaking the news to you over my review, but I think I'm gonna keep this guy after all. But yeah, I did track down the regular version. Uh, so yeah, um, this is Damien in his, as I said, first unofficial appearance as Robin there in issue 657 of Batman. Now, um, what actually transpires here to, you know, cause him to be in white here is, um, Damien actually in his very first appearance was wearing this costume here. This is the DC Direct figure. So this is his League of Assassins or League of Shadows costume. I'll use the terms, uh, you know, interchangeably. So, you know, don't pit me for calling them one or the other. But yeah, this is his uh, League of Shadows costume. And um, yeah, he uh, has a fight with Tim in the Batcave and then steals uh, one of Tim's tunics, goes out into the night and uh, yeah, goes tries to find Batman or fight crime or whatever it is so that explains the um the white arms the uh black pants with the white piping the white boots there and yeah the white or kind of gray cloak and hood it's not pure white in the comic in one panel it looks quite white but in the rest it's kind of like a like a light gray so yeah they have kind of um given us it's not quite a white this guys it is like a very light gray i think on the uh the cape there so yeah not a bad little figure indeed not a bad version of it but there are inaccuracies guys like for one the mask um it's not shaped like that in the um in the you know unofficial first appearance of Damien as Robin he is wearing a different shaped mask but like they're not going to give us a completely different head sculpt that in DC multiverse and page punches like a different head sculpt pretty much just equates to a brand new character if they re-sculpted the head just for the mask trust me man it would have been a completely different release and not just the platinum um so yeah also the boots there these are like his trademark like you know kicks his high tops that he wears as robin these are supposed to be green with red laces and uh yeah as um in his league of assassins costume he's wearing like high boots so yeah that's another inaccuracy right there but they have gone the distance to kind of painting the piping down the front and they've also painted the gold kind of buckling to emulate um tim's costume there so yeah pretty cool that golden like stitching or you know buckles or whatever it is going down the front that's not on the regular release of Damien with the yellow cape that's just what they've done for the platinum so we got some extra paint on this as well as the alternate colors in the arms boots and cape there uh, and hood so yeah not too bad guys um, not a bad little figure and yeah an interesting version um, of the character to own I to be honest I would have probably just preferred like an updated version of that that I feel like is more distinct than this. Like this does feel like a repaint, like just, you know, heavy reuse, but um, it's it's totally fine. Like it's cool. It's such a good new sculpt that I kind of don't mind it. And we do get, I mean, as you know, just a short bendy wire cape, which is just freaking awesome for posing, man. Um, yeah, like anytime I get a short bendy cape, oh damn, look at that. Um, anytime I get a short bendy cape, um, yeah, I mean, it's just so good for posing there, guys. Um, yeah, like, he's just, they just, you know, you, you bend them upwards and they just stay there as opposed to like a full length cape, which is so heavy that, you know, it eventually just, gravity just forces it back down. And uh, yeah, you know, the Y is kind of aren't strong enough to hold it. That said, these do feel like kind of um, much thinner wires than we do get in other capes. But yeah, they're you know strong enough to do the trick there, guys. There's also a wire going around the hood there, so if you want to make a peak or whatever, you can as well. And uh, yeah, it, look, it's weird. There's some like stitching there off to the side. It's weird that they put the seam there, but I don't know. Maybe it needed to be there to kind of like have that like you know, the point that is there at the back there. Um, yeah, interesting. Oh wait, there's 
Is there a seam on both sides? Yeah, there's a seam on both sides. There's a seam there and a seam there. Mine's keeps messy. Maybe I'll try and snip that off with some scissors. But yeah, anyway, really nice touch that we get this cool, um, cool bendy cape, man. Love it. Yeah. Great figure. All right, let's do some articulation, guys. Um, let's have a look at his head first. We've got a pretty clear um, free movement there of the head rotation and it's on a double ended ball joint so you can rock the head back and forth you get heaps of side to side a good amount of forward and a better amount of back there you can hit t-pose uh there are some surprises with the artic in this figure um well just one surprise mainly but yeah t-pose is fine we've got rotation at the shoulders we've got our traditional bicep uh we've got the double jointed elbow and look at that rotation guys at the gauntlet isn't that interesting and then we've got some um we've got one of those old school ball joints in there that is obscured by the glove there so you can get some hinge but you kind of have to force the um the gauntlet to the side i don't know if you can see that but it really is kind of putting pressure on the gauntlet there so you're not going to be able to get much more than that uh, you can get more on the inside um yeah, but yeah, it, it is impeded somewhat. Uh, it looks like me flexing that has actually forced the gauntlet down and exposed some more of the ball joint there, but yeah. Oh, look, and you can just pull it back up. So yeah, if you want to get more rotation out, you could just pull the gauntlet down. It's just like an overlay. It's just like a rubber, soft plastic. Um, and yeah, you can expose more of the joint there and get some more range of movement out of the wrist. So not a bad little touch there, but yeah, interesting that we get, um, oh, wait, do you know what? It's not actually, it's just the overlay. There's no articulation there. This just rotates over the freaking arm. So yeah, Dave, you dingus. Um, yeah. Oh God. I feel like a clown. No surprises in articulation, guys. There you have it. <laughs> so, uh, look, midriff there. We've got some torso artic, but it's impeded by the, um, the tunic there. It's quite a small tunic, guys. So it's not going to have as much give as some of the more standard releases. I'll try and hold it, but, but yeah, we're not getting a lot of forward and, um, we're getting some back, but it's just moving back forward there because the, the tunic's just kind of pushing it back. Let's see if we can do splits. Um, impeded by the you know bottom end of the tunic there, but he could hit it if that wasn't there. Um, let's see how much forward. We've got that much forward, that much back, and as much rotation as the ball joint will allow, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, we should have a thigh cut there, honestly, uh, but that's just me. Uh, double jointed knees and then the same um, retro bloody McFarlane ball joint there. Uh, they must have stock of these joints in the factory and they're like, look, we can hide it under the gauntlets, we can hide it under the boots. So we'll just chuck them in there. So yeah, uh, those are still in there. We've got a little bit of rock on that. We've got rotation at the foot and we've got the toe articulation also. So all in all, really nice little Robin figure that'll pose up nicely. Um, yeah really happy with this guy really really happy what a great figure uh we'll do some comparisons in a bit guys and then we'll call it good see you then
Alrighty guys, I'm back. Hopefully you dug those comparisons. Yeah, it's not your traditional comparison segment, but once I started pulling Robins out of the collection, lining them all up here, uh, the moment kind of took me and now it looks like someone's vomited Robins all over my desk. Uh, thanks for watching my review of this Platinum Page Punches Damien Wayne Robin. All in all, I gotta say, this guy gets a thumbs up from me. He's a pretty nice figure. I would prefer to have the regular. Uh, if I could only have one, I would go with the regular. But um, if you can afford both, if you can find this guy out in the shops, guys, then uh, by all means pick him up because I think he makes a nice addition to the collection, aside from him being just you know, a very obvious repaint of the standard version. That's it from me, guys. Time to bust out of here. Please give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Head on over to my Instagram at dave.cave.dave. I'm posting stuff there pretty much daily. I'm also going live with the DC Multiverse Collector very soon. We'll be doing an action figure team draft, so stay tuned for more details on that very soon. That one's going to be a lot of fun. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much once again for tuning in. Thanks for any love that you've given me. Until next time, guys, take care of each other and buy more toys. See ya.